Hey pros, Crystal here from EliteTotalBodyCare.com. So today I am going to be showing you guys how to properly exfoliate your skin. A lot of you don't exfoliate at all, so we are going to be using our Camille line, and this is our Sea Moss and Silix Alba body scrub. But this can be applied to any of our other body scrubs as well. So I start off by, of course, using my favorite soap, which is the Jamaica soap. But today I'm going to actually be using the green one, which is the aloe vera soap. This one is used to help with acne. Um, right now, as a little transparency moment, it's that time for your girl every single month as women have it. So of course my face always breaks out and is super oily during this time of the month. So I said, okay, now is definitely the time for me to go ahead and wash my face using the aloe vera soap, or we call it the green soap. This is also an anti-aging soap, you guys. So it comes in green and yellow. Now, of course, because I am doing a body demonstration, I'm in my shower with a couple layers of clothes on, but mainly because I wanted you guys to really see how I exfoliate my skin and how you should be exfoliating your skin at least once a week, if not at least three times a month. Exfoliating allows you to get a lot of the dead skin cells off of your body. It allows you to get any type of dry skin. It helps to treat eczema. It helps with a lot of skin conditions and it helps to open those pores up so that you can feel refreshed and renewed. And then of course your body regenerates new skin every single day. So what I like to do is I use my Kamili directly on my body. Some people like to use it with a lufta or their rag. I feel like doing it with my hands is more beneficial. Now this is a foaming body scrub, so it does have soap in it. And it is going to help cleanse the skin as well as exfoliate the skin. So what I like to do is start from my neck and work my way down, okay? So now I'm kind of working on my legs, but I decided that I was going to show you guys anyway and be a little transparent. Um, so you guys will get to see that in the next clip as to exactly what I mean. Now, I do not exfoliate um, inside the lips of the VJJ. I only exfoliate the external parts, meaning where the hair grows, um, and then of course the buttocks area. Now I want you guys to be aware of something. Your vaginal area, you should only be using either our Goddess Boric Acid Wash or our Sweet Goddess Wash, which is definitely very mild for those areas, no perfumes, no dyes, that kind of thing. But for the rest of the areas, including the pubic hair, you can use the Camille Body Scrub. And that is going to help exfoliate that area. And if you get waxing, then you know exactly what exfoliating does. Right before waxing, it helps to ease the pain. I also exfoliate under my armpits. A lot of you do not exfoliate under your armpits. And you don't know that be like deodorants, they literally build up and your armpits absorb all of that nastiness under there. So exfoliating your armpits is definitely beneficial. Um, I'm one of those people where I perspire a lot over the years as I've matured. I noticed that I perspire even more than ever before. So I like to exfoliate my armpits and then I also like to use a little bit of apple cider vinegar on a um, cotton swab or cotton pad and I use that to clean my armpits once a week just to help remove any bacteria from using um, your deodorant over and over. Remember, your deodorant is touching a foreign part of your body that sometimes is not always clean, and then you're putting it back in the same area. So that is a breeding ground for bacteria. So keep that in mind, you guys. Now here's a transparent moment. Yes, I have on shorts, okay? And please do not judge me. Your girl's toes are not done. <laughs> and your girl's feet is not done. I'm actually headed that way to do it right now. But I wanted you guys to see that you even exfoliate in between your toes, you guys. You exfoliate the bottom of your feet. You exfoliate your ankles. Some people literally stop bathing when they get to their ankles. And I've never understood that. So definitely very important to exfoliate all those parts of your body. It's very, very important. So now I'm going to rinse off and I want you guys to kind of see the water. Now it's not going to be black, <laughs> but it's not going to be the cleanest water either. That is what exfoliating does. And when I say our Camille scrub leaves your skin feeling like butter, okay? Like the goal is to shed all of the dead skin off, to remove all of the impurities off of the body. And I'm super duper funny, you guys. After I exfoliate my skin, I still go back with my boric acid wash and I still wash my body again. 
I'm just one of those people. I feel like I'm still not 100% clean until after I have washed my entire body with our boric acid wash. Okay? So now I'm just rinsing myself off. I want you guys to also keep in mind the back of the neck. You want to make sure that you scrub that area. Another thing that I would also say is our community scrub can be used on the face as well for exfoliation. So definitely take advantage of that. And don't skip exfoliating, you guys. You should be exfoliating your skin once every single week or at least three times a month. Okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this short video. Like I said, a transparency video. Well, thank you guys for watching. Peace.